Good day, mates. How's it going? My name's AG, and welcome back to Outlast 2. This could be the final video. We have the baby. We have lost everyone. It looks like everyone is dead. If you remember at the end of the last video, Papa Noth here, over there, said that there is no one left. Looks like the camera's still on. It's daybreak. This just doesn't look right to me. I can't even run. Probably because I've got the baby. Blake hasn't said a word since Lynn's death. I don't blame him. The destruction of that storm though. Holy crap. Everyone is dead. Trying to find you. Don't worry. I'll never let you go. You'll never let me go. Jess? The light has gone away. Savior, listen while I pray. Begging thee to watch and keep. And send me quietly to sleep. Watchful Savior, wash away all I've been wrong today. Help me every day to be gentle, gentle, more like thee. No, don't tell me that that's it. So that's the end of Outlast 2. I was right, this is the final video, but it's only three fucking minutes in already. I expected there to be more than this. I might just leave this go. Actually, no, I can press back. Hang on a second. Skip the credits. That's it. There's nothing else. Back to the menu. <laughs> no, what a disappointing video. Oh well, that'll be alright. Kind of ironic, actually. This is the 13th video for Outlast 2. Kind of fits the whole tone. <laughs> but in any case, that is the final part to Outlast 2. It's the shortest video I think I've ever released for a horror game in general. Uh, time for my quick recap of the entire game. It was confusing. The whole the story confused was confusing beyond the point of recognition. Like I got the whole the religious thing and how there is extremists. They take it too far, but I don't see how the connection between what the religious nuts that we saw in present day compared to the priest who killed Jess in the school. I understand that there is a connection between those who have faith in God can sometimes become delusional and do things wrong. Um, and I have nothing against religion in general. Um, I have nothing against it, so don't hold my word against it. I actually am against extremists in all forms. But there was no connection, really, apart from that one little bit there. About... Yeah, I don't understand it. And, um... 
The fact that everybody had to die, I didn't get that either. I didn't get why the entire town had to die. Like, I get they were murderous people. I shouldn't feel sorry for them, but it's like, why kill them? Leave them there for a p potential sequel, perhaps. Now, I don't know if there's going to be DLC for this. I haven't been researching it. I didn't even know how much longer I had to go at the start of this video. I legit thought that there was going to be more that would give me some more answers. Instead, what I got was this. I'm not complaining. I should have, like, probably researched and found out how much I had left to go last time. I didn't. That's my bad. In any case, that was the final video for Outlast 2. My initial thoughts were... It doesn't beat the original. The original might have gotten boring and repetitive, but this one was more... Annoying. And, cop and covered a more more sensitive topics than the last one. And I swear that they this game was just thrown together. Like, to be reminiscent of the old one, but not capture the old one's flair. I like the original Outlast more than this one. Hopefully the DLC for this one will be better than the DLC for Outlast 1, because that one was extremely short. If they offered a DLC that was a bit more worth the money, I'm all good. We are all good. Other than that, that's all I've got. This game, it, it did blow me away a little bit at how good it was, but it wasn't the best, and it could have been better. But, what do you guys think? Uh, if you managed to watch this playthrough all the way through to the end and got this potentially disastrous final episode, um, let me know what you think of the entire series in the comments down below. Um... Or what you think of the Outlast series in general. Should there be a third full titled game? Should there be an Outlast 3? Or do you think this should just be left here? Because you can't... I don't think you should fuck with it. I don't think you should fuck with it any more than they already have. The whole microphone thing in the camera. Used it twice? Three times maybe? I don't know. I'll have to go back over and have a look. But I didn't, didn't use it as much as I probably should have. In the situations they created where I would have to use it. But given how I played the first game. I already knew how to work with the night vision camera. So I didn't really need the microphone. But that's just me. It's just an added feature that they probably shouldn't have even bothered adding. Other than that, this game. If you want to have a go at it yourself, you can. I'm pretty sure you can get it on PS4, Xbox One. And it's available on Steam as it always will be. Um... I recommend you try it on PC though, I haven't played it myself on PC, but don't play it on PS4. It just, yeah, it different. I reckon it would have worked a lot better on PC, my opinion. And this is someone who plays all three things. I play PC consoles and consoles and I prefer, and I think I would have preferred the PC version any day of the week. Keyboard and mouse for the win. For something like this, makes sense. Other than that, I'm done rambling. Thank you all so much for watching this episode of Outlast 2. Uh, if you did enjoy the series, make sure to leave a thumbs up and go check out links down below to the Outlast 1 and 2 playlists, as well as all my social medias, and be sure to subscribe, like, and follow. As always, I'll see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.